decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. into some pretty enough country called the Heartland. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier, in spite of black water and that whole mess. Hi there. Jose. Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> Look at this. It's so pretty. This is Horseshoe Overlook. Oh, yeah, so this is where you can donate and make the camp a better place. On decent meat, Mr. Morgan. Oh, no, that's just a stew. What? The auto save slot contains its wood bound. Yeah, sure. Just come back later. Learning. Learning. Never mind. Examine the photograph. Who's that? I don't know what it says. There's a letter. I can't read it. Maka. So you and Lenny didn't see no trouble when you scouted ahead? Nothing too much. No Pinkertons anyway. Good. All right, let's go talk to Dutch. Hell of a morning. How's it going? Perfect. That was a cigar. Not bad. But sometimes I prefer a pipe. I've been meaning to get one for ages. I left the old one in mm, black water. I know. But if I find one, you can have it. Hey, you are a gentleman, Mr. Morgan. I raised you well. <laughs> oh, don't take too much pride in your work. <laughs> I'm gonna go do this. Oh, we can shave. Should we shave? Let's shave. Let's try and sort this out. We can get rid of it all. Chops. There you go. <laughs> Look at him. All right, let's get rid of the mustache. Nope. 
<laughs> Let's just get rid of it all. Let's leave it like that, actually. Um. No, let's do that. That's all right. That's all right, eh, Alpha? Yeah. Looks like a man. Uh, we were gonna go over here, weren't we, to this mission? There will be a lot of time to be able to explore this camp whenever. Good morning, Arthur. How you doing, John? How's your face? Um, where's that mission? Where's the map for stars? How how do I get out the map? All right, whatever. <laughs> Got you there, tough guy. Just name the place, my friend. Just name the place. Oh, hello. Where's all of the... No, I guess I'll go to Uncle then. I think that's the only one I can get to. Hey, chickens! I'll kill you. Don't mock me. How you doing, boy? Daddy's here. Hey. Yeah, good boy. You're a good horse. Here you are. Yeah. Oat cakes. Your favorite. If I can find an apple, I will. And I'll give it to you. Oh, oh. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? Sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. If you're gonna take the old man into town, you can take us too. Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a ride, and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> you ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Oh, we're on our way to Valentine. Oh, well, supposed to go this way. Shit. I'm taking my special ladies to Valentine. Take a left. Lady, bring us a song. Oh, Jesus Christ, shut up. Uncle, why'd you have to do that? Jesus, it's so annoying and loud. Oh shit. Why is he going so fast? Hey! Oh, this is 
is all I is one of you gonna I'll help, help you. Oh, I got lumbago. It's very serious. All right, I'll see what's going on. Lumbago, really? You all right there, friend? Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? Sure. Yeah, no problem. Thanks. It's the white one over there. Yeah, no shit. Is there any other horse around? Now, come on, boys. Is it a girl or a boy? Oh, well, I'm gonna call it boy. You a beautiful stallion. Come here. It's all right. It's all right. Come on now. Come here. Come on. Hey. There we go. I wasn't sure if I was able to do it. That's it. It was saying, calm it down. Come on, man. Hey. Hey. Come on. There we are. It's a shy. That's a good horse. There you are, fellow. Here. Here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. I'm trying to get on my wagon. I can't. Hey, Goddamn horses on the way. <laughs> it's the only way I could get on, Uncle. <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you haven't, your pulse of old lizard. Lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you not hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> Woo! Smell those sheep. <laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other oh, people. it's the perfect little wow. town. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Go left here, down the main street. Already there, doing right it. On the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Look at them actually getting to work. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. It's just so, like, amazing to see in a game. And it, it was really just amazing when it came right. out. You, really you can't like beat I this said, game. Cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. I don't think any game will ever beat Red Dead Redemption okay, well, we'll 2. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. Sure you did. Okay. I'm not going to ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No, 
Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm, then rats with the plague, then you. Shut up. <laughs> this is the place now. Come on. Morning. All right. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for oh. a start. Apples. I'm pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You look. I want to take an apple there, from my horse. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Let me know. Yeah, first I want some apples. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. Can I please take the apple? Ah. Oh. Fine, I'll take coffee. You're not getting anything, Arthur? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, ground coffee. Is that what it wants me to get? Okay. Okay, if you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. I don't know if he likes pears or apples. Here's to your good health, my sir. <laughs> it's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house, acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? Uh, I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Get your hands off me. You thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly. All right. Hey! Get off of me. I've been looking too long. Get your hands off of her. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch. Hey. Hey, take it easy. There's no problem here. There will Back be. Back off. Don't get out of here right now. Do it. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you right now. Go away with Uncle. You're Mary. right, Tilly. Across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. No worries, Tilly. Uncle! Look after her! I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Locked! Well, anyway. So it goes. Can I help you, sir? Hello. I, I do all I can manage. Are you doing all you I'm can? looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. I heard there were three okay. cases of consumption just last year. Karen. Karen. No trouble now, please. Absolutely not. No trouble. Hey! Get over! A friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here! Come here. Oh, I said it at the same time as him. Ow! I paid for nothing. 
Asshole. What the Come hell are you doing here? I'm taking money. Trying to play him? Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Now you sit there and think about what you're doing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. Bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. Go outside. Go. I hope uh, everything's okay up there. Yeah, absolutely fine. There ain't anybody lying up there injured or anything. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get! I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. This ain't even my horse. Just following it. Get back here right now. I'm coming for you. Come here. I'm sorry, chicken. Oh god, I killed a bunch of chickens. This son of a bitch. Come here. Where are you going? There's a cliff. Idiot. Oh, well, I guess this is perfect time for me to kill you. I question you. Don't worry. Don't worry. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now, please help me up. Mm-hmm. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please pull me up, please. Just pull mm. me up, come on. I don't know. Fine. All right, come on. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Give me Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh... Here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh. That's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding? Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one cent. Just leave and stop saying anymore. Come on. Come on. Let's go return this raggy horse. Yeah. 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 Come on. Who did I even steal it from? God, my voice, Jesus Christ. Hey, my horse. 
Oh, I'm guessing it's him. Here's your horse back, friend. Oh, you really were just borrowing it. Yeah, I really was. Hello. Look out. Hey, Move. Look out. Hey, come on now. Welcome back. Something slipped your mind before? Certainly did, sir. The saloon is where they said they were going to be. You to meet our friends. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Well, ain't you just a toughest teak mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone <laughs> can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charmer. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man, I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey. hey there he is. Watch where you're going. Take it Are easy. Are you about to kiss that Take guy or easy, punch huh? him? Oh, <laughs> and we have our answer. <laughs> oh, come here, son of a Hey. <laughs> oh, this is what I like. Bit of fun, Danny, fighting. Come on, throw a punch. Throw another one. <laughs> oh, come here. Oh shit! Come on, get off me! Get off, get off me! You made me drop my hat, and I don't appreciate it. I want my hat. Oh! I ain't no pretty boy. Ah! Huh. Ain't no chance. Oh shit! Got my neck. Oh. Oh shit! Shit! Oh! You must be the village idiot. Yeah! Mm. Come on, let's look. Oh! Here you slow than you look. No! Come on, man. Get off. You don't touch my posse, okay? Hey, come on, come on. Tommy. Stop! Stop! Please! Please! I beg you, stop! Come, sir. You won the fight already, surely that's enough? What business is it of yours? <laughs> no business. <clears throat> no business, sir, but please, I beg you. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. Well, well, I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. 
You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah! Javier and Charles, I've missed you. And Bill, looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always a pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him. Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater... Uh, ah! Well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill. Come on. Look at our clothes. Jesus. They look awful. Multiple missions are available in the camp. These are shown as that on the radar. Cool. Where's my horse? Well, how, do, how do I uh, call it? There we go. Oh, it's over there. Hello there. God, I'm fast. Jesus. Oh, it's because he's in the camp, isn't he? God damn it. So, how am I supposed to get there? Um. Oh, what's this? Uh, sure. I live in front of the saloon. Next to the freight station. You know if I'm heading in the right direction? I'm gonna mislead him. Uh, sure. Just head over that way. You'll be home in no time. Well, thank you, mister. Oh. Am I glad I am? You are so I welcome, sir. Rightly spun around. Where's he going? Oh, this is annoying though because I don't have my horse. Um, I need my map. Oh, wait, there we go. Oh, let's go to that. Let's go to the stranger. Yeah. All right, that's enough. Oh, it's just so alive, isn't it? There's people working, people going to church. Hey, hey. hey people talking to you. Give a fella a nickel. Give me a dime. Give me something. What are you doing? Hey, brother. Hey, uh, you know you're missing an arm. I'm too old to get a job, mister. Way too old. Can't we be friends? No. Get out of here. You're not kind, mister. You're not kind at all. No. You're right. I ain't. Let's get out of here. Uh, but there's the question mark. Get on my way. 
Come on, sir. Try to remember. What really happened at Sylvia's Saloon back in 76? Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, Who's sir. Who's your friend there? <laughs> Put that in your fucking book, Plato. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Lucy Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. Well, how's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm going to write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. And forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and, well... There's a whole list of gunfighters, legends, every last one. Emmett Granger, Flacco Hernandez, Billy Midnight, Black Bell. Never heard of them. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Calloway. Any of them get uppity, shoot them. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some... Sad, deluded fools like him. Ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him. It does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here or some other flop house. So how am I supposed to find them? Like how? Oh, okay. The Grand Dame and the Gunslingers of Dynamite Dialogue. Married six times to the gentleman, gamblers, robbers, outlaws there for one. Never divorced, dressed in her widow's weeds. So the remaining survivor of the Colton Tyburn gang. Yeah, Outlawed man. at the robbery in Rose. Private contract for her life or luckily large reward. Last reported sign. Uh near Blackwater Marsh. A uh, Blue Water right. Marsh. Too dangerous for the biographer. Sure. Sure. Well, that's her last known location. It's on the map. Uh, whereabouts is it? Oh, it's all the way over there. Screw that. Um, we'll go back to the camp. Did it mark? There we go. I need a horse. I'm gonna have to steal another one. Manners, not your thing? No. It ain't. I'll take this one. You're mine now, boy. I'm sorry. Welcome back. It is what it is. Oh, now I'm not very liked here. What's new? I mean, sure, there was no other way for me to get back. That walk. They'll forget about it. It's just a horse. Oh, 
was that? Maybe a rock. Oh, what the hell? What the f That's a leg. What? Let me just follow this up. What the fuck? Look on my works. What the hell, man? The fuck is organs everywhere? Blood goes up here. Oh. That is vile. Does it go anywhere else? It sort of just stops here. Is that true? I'll take a... Where did that go? Uh, um, hopefully that horse is still there. Damn. That is just disgusting. Nah, bro. Some fucked up psychopath has done that. It's stuff like that that you can just find in the game just exploring and it's so good. Hey rabbits! This way. Who goes there? Just me. Just me. Wondered when you'd roll back in. Well, I'm here. Are you taking a piss? Yeah. God, they're running low on everything. Hey, uh, I'm just gonna go get some stew. Starved. Good evening, Arthur. Good evening. Good evening, Arthur. Uh, I'm trying to get some stew. So. Feller in town recognized me from Blackwater. That's not good. It's okay though, I dealt with it. Take a ball of stew. You need to wait a couple of a few days before grabbing another. That's a little annoying. Take a look at these notes if we can. Inspect. Uh, it's only days since you and your mother stood on the platform so dutifully until my train was out of sight, and already I feel compelled to write. How handsome you looked then. You must learn chastity young and learn it well. There are truths a man of my upbringing finds it easier to sit down than to speak. Even to his son, I expect this is not easy for a boy to understand. In some ways, I hope you do not understand it. 
Here is one such truth I know that I have sometimes been more tutor than father to you. But do not let my sermons on your future as a lawyer persuade you that I see you more as a pupil than son. When we meet again on Sunday next, I expect I will have stiffened uh, once more. But this brief distance gives me liberty to, help, to tell you that you have redeemed more than you know, or can ne ever know, or should ever be expected to hear, or bear. I expect the yard to be clear of snow when I return. I see that it bores you, but you must learn to accommodate yourself to all useful labor. However, menial, and as always, read this letter aloud to your mother, and where I have written is not, do not say ain't. I am as ever your loving father. Ah. How sweet. Alright. Dishonorably discharged from the military service of the United States for reason attempted murder. Okay. Alright. Well. Oh, look at that. Look at that view. That's so nice. Oh. Horseshoe Overlook is one of the best areas, I think. Okay. Well. I think we're going to end it there. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.